here, The Frugal Crafter. Today I'm going to show you how to make some really cute end of the year teacher gifts or friendship gifts that your kids can give to their classmates and teachers at school. I'm using the one inch by seven inch bags by our sponsor Paper Mart. You can find them online at www.papermart.com and I'll put a link in the video description to these bags. These are really cool because you can put like two pencils in here if you don't want to, you know, deal with sweets or you can actually put like a row of gumballs and I just got a bag of the, um, just the double bubble gumballs at the dollar store for this, um, but you can get the bigger containers too if you um, if you want to do more in bulk. But this would be a really cute birthday party favor as well, and you get a thousand bags for about eight dollars and thirty cents. So you really can't beat that. I remember like um, test tube favors were really popular a couple of years ago, and they were expensive to buy the test tubes. So like if you were doing like a mad scientist party or something, you could also um, replicate the look of test tubes with these inexpensive bags. So I just love that idea. So the first thing we're gonna do is um, we'll grab a couple pencils and we'll put them in one of these bags and um, the bags are bundled in uh, sleeves of a hundred so you won't end up with you know a bunch of little baggies floating around loose in your home which is nice and I'm just gonna slide in two pencils here because I think this was this would be really cute for somebody to give to their teacher and then I've got a two inch by four and a quarter piece of cardstock so you know you can trim out a regular piece of cardstock into um, oh gee how many of those could you get get about 20 of those I think and just fold that right in half and then um, I simply just use my paper punch and a piece of cardstock to punch out a scallop circle and then I stamped a little pinwheel and the stamps are by close to my heart but really you could use any sort of um, design you liked you could use a um, you could use a star or um, any sort of like bold iconic thing I'm just I just thought these panels were super cute and I hadn't used them um, and I got them last summer at a stamp show and I'm just giving a little red around the edges just to give it a little bit more depth of color I'll stamp that right down and then all you need to do is just cut that out. Or if you happen to have um, dies with a match, uh, stamps with a matching die, you could just go ahead and use that and save yourself a little time. I have this one I cut out earlier. I'm just going to use that, and I'm going to layer that on top of my scallop circle. And I'm going to poke a little hole with my scissors, or you can use a needle tool. I find it so much easier to do that than to try to force a brad through the paper. All right, now I'm going to attach this to the front of my cardstock. This is such a quick and easy project, and I really think, you know, if you are doing classroom projects or um, trying to make anything in bulk, you really ought to pare down the steps, and this is easy enough that your kids can totally help you with it. I am going to fumble with this a bit, probably. Let's go through each layer at a time. These, uh, sometimes your shaped brads, your more decorative ones, are a little bit flimsier and they, you know, they're a little bit weaker, so you have to be, I might even just poke a hole in that just to be on the safe side. And just, it's just a foam mat there that I'm using to keep everything, to make it poke through easily. And then this way you could actually, you know, twirl the little pinwheel around as long, you know, if you don't put adhesive over that. Now I'm going to take my little baggie with pencils in it that I prepared as I find it. What to do with that thing? Hmm. Here we go. Now I'm just going to take my baggie with the pencils in it and I'm going to remove the little adhesive lining. Now if I'm doing gumballs, I'll fill it till about there and then I'll, till about there, then I'll fold over the top. But since um, the pencils are just a hair too long, what I'm going to do is just stick the, uh, the sealing part right down to my cardstock. And then I'm going to take some score tape or use whatever double-sided adhesive you want or you could even use hot glue whatever you like and put that on either side now if you were doing the the gumballs you could always have them open at the bottom and then um, and then they don't even have to take it apart to get the goodies out and then what I like to do is actually bend both the front and the back so I can line up my edges and just squeeze them together on the side and it gives it a little bit of dimension and you can even twirl your little embellishment around a little bit. So I hope this gave you some fun ideas for end of year gifts for your children's classmates and teachers. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and check out our sponsor, Paper Mart. You can find them at www.papermart.com where we make you look even better. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.